Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Ma's English lesson. In this video, we are going to learn about writing an email about a trip. Now, we are learning to use the simple past tense to write an email about a trip. Use adjectives to write about our feelings. Use the conjunctions and and but to join two ideas and to start the email with a greeting and end it with a sign of. Now let's look at some writing tips about writing an email. Firstly, when we write about a trip in the past, we use the past tense. Now, simple past tense is used to show an action which was done and completed in the past. Okay, it simply means that the action was done Alright, maybe yesterday, last month, last year, during the last holidays. Okay, it's over. It's in Kuochila, Sudal Belepas. Okay? Right. Let's look at these phrases that we might use when we write an email about a trip. Can you change them into the past tense? For example, you go on a trip. Alright? So when we write the email, it, we have to write, we went on a trip. Okay, what about visit a museum? Now, visit, we have to change to visited a museum. If you go to a butterfly park, you see the butterflies, right? So, when I went on the trip, I, that's right, saw the butterflies. Okay, usually when we go on a trip, we do eat some delicious food, isn't it? Right, so we enjoy the tasty food, okay? When we change this into the past tense, it becomes enjoyed the tasty food. Okay, buy souvenirs, all right? Usually when you visit some places, you might buy some postcards or fridge magnets, okay? You buy souvenirs, so you change to the past tense, you write as bought souvenirs, okay? And also we take photos, right? So when we went on the trip, we took photos, okay? So these are simple past tense. Next, when we write an email, we use adjectives to talk about our feelings, okay? Kata adjective, xinglong ci, okay? These are the words that describe how we feel. Okay, so for example, when you go to Zoo Nagara, let's say you went on the trip to Zoo Nagara, all right? The zoo nagara is big, maybe you can use words like big. You were very excited, you know, because you're gonna see many animals, you're gonna see the tigers, the pandas, the gorillas, okay? And maybe you saw a fierce tiger, right? And also you might watch an interesting animal show. Okay? So how do we write it? We can use we can say, the zoo was big. I was excited to see a fierce tiger. I watched an interesting animal show too. You see, in these three sentences, we have already used four adjectives. Next, when we write an email, okay, we do not just use simple sentences. Okay, so we need to use conjunctions to join our ideas together. Now, what are conjunctions? Kata hubung, lian si. Okay, for example, and, or, but, for, okay? So, we can use the conjunction N and but. We use N to join two ideas which are similar, which are almost the same, okay? We use but to join ideas which are different. So, for example, if you go to the science center, the Pusat Science Negara, you can say, I went to the science center. I participated in many fun and exciting activities. Okay, the activities are fun and exciting. Both of these adjectives are positive adjectives. Okay, so you use N. We went hiking at the national park. It was fun, but I was very tired. Now look at fun and tired. These are, these are two different ideas. Okay, fun is positive, tired is negative. So, we use the conjunction, but. Next, 
When we write an email, remember to start the email with a greeting and end with a sign off. Now, when we write a greeting, we can say, for example, Dear Jiala, how are you? I went on a trip to Taiwan last month. Or you can say, Hi Lishon, hope you are in the pink. I'm writing to tell you about my trip to Japan. Now, for sign off, okay, we can write something like, Bye for now, your cousin Wei Jin. Or, hope to hear from you soon. Regards, Eason. Okay, we will look at an example from our Get Smart Class 4 textbook, Unit. All right, Unit 3, let's look at this example. All right, now, to John Parker, subject, my trip. Hello, John, how are you? Last month, my family and I went on a trip to Egypt. It was very hot and sunny there. We rode camels to the pyramids of Giza. Okay, so this is a pyramid. So they rode on camels. Okay, unta, rotuo. They were very big. Okay, we are talking about the pyramids, right? They were very big. The pyramids were very big. I took a lot of photos. We saw mummies at the museum. Mu nai, okay, mummies. They were scary, but they were interesting too. I like the mummy's treasures the most. Okay, treasures, alright? Bao Zhang. Okay? Uh, Egypt was fun. Kevin. Okay? So we can see Kevin wrote an email to John. Alright, so Kevin went to Egypt and he is telling John about the trip in Egypt. Okay, let's see whether he uses simple past tense. Alright? Does he use simple past tense? Let's see. Okay, last month my family and I went, okay, on a trip to Egypt. It was very hot and sunny there. We rode camels to the pyramids of Giza. They were big. I took a lot of photos. We saw mummies at the museum. They were, the mummies were scary, okay, but they were interesting too. Of course, the mummies were scary because they were made many, many, many years ago, thousands of years ago, right? I like the mummy's treasures the most. I liked, okay? Maybe the, the treasures, they were rings or diamonds or rubies, okay? Those are treasures, right? Egypt was fun, okay? So you see, Kevin used simple past tense when he was writing this email. Okay, next. Let's see whether he uses conjunctions, all right? Can you find any conjunctions here? See, my family and I, hot and sunny, okay, right? They were scary, but, you see there? They were interesting, you see? He uses and, and, hot and sunny, okay, and also but. All right, now, these are conjunctions. Next, let's see whether he uses um, adjectives. Okay, adjectives. Can you find some adjectives here? Right, to talk about Egypt, how was the weather? It was hot. All right, it was hot and sunny. Okay, so hot and sunny are adjectives. The pyramids were very big. Okay, big is also an adjective. What else? The mummies were scary, okay? He was scared looking at the mummies, but they were interesting, you see? Interesting is also an adjective. Okay, and also Egypt was fun, all right? So these are adjectives, 形容詞, kata adjective, okay? They are used to describe things or people or our feelings, okay? So he, uh, Kevin, did Kevin start with a greeting? Okay, you see, hello John, how are you? Greeting. Did he end? Okay, he just say, okay, he wrote his name down here, Kevin. Okay, so remember, one, we use simple past tense. Two, we use adjectives. Three, we need to use conjunctions. And four, greetings and sign off.
Okay? Now, let's do a practice. Let's look at this question. You went on a trip to Gunting Highlands last month. Write an email to tell your cousin about the trip. Write between 60 and 80 words. Okay, so let's see. What are the keywords in this question? Number one, you went to Genting Highlands. Okay, and you need to write an email to tell your cousin. Okay, you need to know who you are writing to because when you sign off, you either write your friend, your cousin, or regards, isn't it? So in this case, you might need to write your cousin. Right. When you write an email, okay, what are the points that we need to write this email? First, we need to know who do we write to. Okay, in this case, we have to write to our cousin. What's the subject of the email? So the subject gives you an idea about, okay, gives you an idea of what the email is about. Okay, so it's like a topic for your email. So in this case, maybe our subject should be my trip. Okay, where did you visit? Okay, it was in the question, you went to Genting Highlands. All right, what did you do? Now think, what can you do in Genting Highlands? Even if you haven't been there, it's all right. Just imagine, what do people usually do in Genting Highlands? Okay, maybe you go to the amusement park, right? You go to the uh, okay, what else do you do? You ride in a cable car. Alright, you might go to the mushroom farm. There's a mushroom farm. And also you might watch a show, right? And how do you think you feel? How did you feel that? Okay, you can talk about um, the weather in Genting Highlands. Alright, is it cool or is it hot? And how did you feel? When you ride the cable car, how did you feel? When you watch the show, how did you feel? Okay? Yes? Right, so let's look at some ideas here. When you go to Genting Highlands, okay, first you ride in a cable car, okay? You go to the amusement park, you visit the mushroom farm, and also you watch a magic show, okay? So these are the things that you do there. Okay, so you have to change this into the simple past tense. So you have to write, wrote in a cable car, went to the amusement park, visited the mushroom farm, and also watched a magic show. Okay, so what are some of the adjectives that you can use? Now, first, let's talk about Gunting Highlands, the weather. You can use words like cool and windy, and liang shuang, and duo feng, and berangin, sejo, all right? Then what else? When you ride in a cable car, you look at the lush greenery, you look at the view from the top. It's so beautiful, isn't it? You can say, beautiful or amazing scenery. All right? Now, some of you, if you think riding in a cable car can be scary, you can use the word scary as well, you know, because it's shaking. Right? For me, I'm afraid of heights and sometimes it's really, really scary. Okay? Especially when there's wind. Okay. Now, Next, you go to the amusement park. So you have to change to the simple past tense. You say, went to the amusement park, right? And how do you feel that? How were the rides, okay? The amusement park was exciting, perhaps. But you can say, when you go on the roller coaster, it was scary, okay? Now, when you go to the uh, mushroom farm, all right, what do you buy there? You buy mushrooms, isn't it? How were the mushrooms? Okay, you can use a word like fresh. You buy the fresh mushroom, okay? And when you watch a magic show, let's talk about the magic show. How do you think? Is it going to be a boring magic show? Of course not, isn't it? All right, you can say it's an interesting magic show. So how was Gunting Highlands overall? Okay, how was the whole trip? You can say it was fun, okay? So now, let's put all these ideas into our... So when we write an email, okay, to... Okay, you write the email address or the name of the person whom you are writing to. For example, youherlin at gmail.com. Okay, what is the subject here? My trip. Okay, so remember, we need to start with a greeting. We have to talk about where you went, what you did, and how you felt, okay? So maybe you can say, Dear Helen, how are you? 
Okay, I want to tell you about about what? What is this email about? About my trip to Genting Highlands with my family last month. Okay, so in the first paragraph itself, you tell the person what this email is all about. Okay, you answer the question first. All right. So what did you do? Where? What did you do? And how you felt in Genting Highlands? Okay, it will be your second paragraph. Right, you can say it was cool and windy there. We rode in a cable car and the view was amazing. Now, I went to the amusement park. It was exciting, but the roller coaster ride was scary. Okay. Now, besides, 除此之外 ，so I need to besides. I visited the mushroom farm and bought some fresh mushroom. Okay, I watched an interesting magic show too. Genting Highlands was fun. Okay, so that would be your main paragraph. What you did there and how you felt. Okay, then when you how do you sign off? You can just say bye for now. Your cousin Ethan. Okay, so that's how we write an email about a trip. Okay. Now, after watching this, you might want to practice on your own. Okay, you can try this question. You went on a trip to Penang last month. Write an email to tell your cousin about the trip. Write between sixty and eighty words. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching, and you might try this. See you again next time. Take care and bye.